Cars are a luxury these days. New technology, new design, and additional features are the things that we look for when buying a car. Almost everyone knows supercars with extraordinary features are pretty expensive. So they demand hefty price tags for what they offer. And we get paid for what we want. This might include some classic looks and extra blistening performance. Well, long story short, in present times, having expensive cars is a luxury that not everyone can afford. We've come up with a list of the top 10 most expensive cars sold at auction. And you'll be surprised to know that if we compare it to Bugatti or McLaren or some other expensive supercars, it will be a total bargain compared to the cars on our list. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon because we post every Thursday or Sunday or both. So don't miss out on more exciting videos from us in the future. Having said that, let's get into the video. Number 10, Dusenberg SSJ, $22 million. This rare car from 1935, Dusenberg SSJ was sold for an outstanding amount of $22 million at the Golding and Company auction in 2018. This vehicle was one of the only two SSJ ever built, which makes it even more special. And that is why when it was bought on stage on the day of the auction, spectators know the fact that this was a car worth watching. One amazing fact about this car is that it had a supercharged inline eight cylinder engine that produces 400 horsepower and can reach a top speed of 140 miles per hour. With these performance stats and the rarity, it is no wonder that this unique and classic car was sold for a hefty price tag. Number nine, Ferrari 290MM. $22 million and $500. Well, this is another classic car auctioned at RM South B's Log Angies in 2018. This true gem has always been the king of car auctions. This 1956 Ferrari 290MM was initially a factory race car and it was driven in international racing games by some great race car drivers, such as Pill Hill, Juan Manuel, Fangio, and Sir Starling Moss. This car remains authentic and classic because of its bodywork, transmission, and effective engine. It is a rare yet efficient car from its time, which makes it worth the value of $22,500. Number 8. 1956 Aston Martin DBR1 $22,550,000. Have you ever wondered about what would be the most valuable British car ever sold at an auction? Well, this 1956 Aston Martin DBR1 is the one. It made headlines when it was sold for $22,550,000 in an auction at RM Southby's Monterey sale. This legendary green vehicle is the first of five DBR1 series. Moreover, it is fitted with the perfect engine placement for racing. For this very reason, it was raced by some famous drivers like Roy Salvadori and Carroll Shelby, who drove this car to victory in 1959, Le Mans. Number 7. 1964 Ferrari 275 GTBC Special $26,400,000 This Ferrari is rare, historic, unique, and very well known for its features. This super historic racing car is one of only three of its kind. And what makes it so unique is its original engine. Even its bodywork is built of aluminium. It's said to be lighter and faster than any other GTB vehicle. This Ferrari 275 GTB was designed and built to challenge Ford's Ford GT40 and Shelby Cobra Daytona at Le Mans in 1965. This four-wheeled stole the hearts of people at RM Southby's auction, Monterey sale, in 2014, for $26,400,000, which is quite a great amount of money, and so does this amazing car make it all worth it. Number 6. 1967 Ferrari 275 GTB 4 stars, Nart Spider, $27,500,000. Seems like Ferrari is everywhere. Well, this one's on the list is also from the GTB series of Ferrari. 
This red Ferrari was only one of 10 ever built in history. It was owned by a North Carolina orphan turned millionaire named Eddie Smith. It was a V12 engine and a five speed manual transmission. These amazing features are more than enough for a car lover to purchase them. And so it was sold in the same auction of RM Selfbees in 2013 for a huge amount of $27,500,000. Another amazing fact about this Ferrari is that it had a history of appearance in movies like The Thomas Crown Affair. Number 5. 1956 Ferrari 290mm, $28,000,000. And five thousand dollars. This 1956 Ferrari achieved the title of most expensive car sold in New York City in 2015 at RM Southby's for a whopping price of twenty-eight million and five thousand dollars. And let's not forget that this is also the third most expensive car ever sold in a public auction. So what makes it so expensive? Well. Ferrari designed this car for the race car driver, Juan Manuel Fangolo, to race in the 1956 Mili Mangali. And one of the best finishing victories of this 290mm Ferrari was at the 1957 Buenos Aires 1000km event, driven by Mastro and Gregory. In case you don't know, it's one of the four kinds that ever exist. Ferrari 290mm will always be classic and unique for its racing history. Number 4. 1954 Mercedes-Benz W196, $29,650,000. A great Formula One racing car and its successor to W194 was produced by Mercedes-Benz in 1954. This car was raced by Juan Manuel Fangolo and Sterling Moss. And in their hands, this car was able to win nine out of 12 races. And it competed in two world championships. And believe me, this is a spectacular performance from this vehicle, with its naturally aspirated engine and a high top speed of over 186 miles per hour were always appreciated by people. This is why the hammer went down for this car at Bonham's Goodwood Festival of Speed in 2013 and was sold for $29,650,000. This car Shaw made great headlines for being sold at such a huge amount of money in its authentic and original condition. Number 3. 1957 Ferrari 335 Sport Scaglietti $35,700,000 Well, this Ferrari has a great rich history, and the list is too long to be mentioned in this short video. Firstly, this car has a very fascinating racing heritage as it competed in the Sebring 12 hour race in March 1957, secured a second position at the Mili Mangali and raced in Le Mans. And that's not the end to it. Ferrari 335 Sport Scaglietti was the first ever model in history to have an average lap speed of 200 km per hour or 124 miles per hour at the Le Mans 24 hours. The history itself is enough to make this car worth $35,700,000. Its perfection and rich racing history make it one of the top three best fits to the list of most expensive cars sold at an auction. Number two, 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO, $38,115,000. Ferrari is always on top of the game, whether it's being the most classic, one of the most expensive ones. Yet again, Ferrari seems to be at the top. You'd be surprised to know that this Ferrari 250 GTO from 1962 became one of the most valuable cars of all time when it was sold in 2014 for $38,115,000. This car was built to compete in the 1963 FIA World GT Championships, which it went on to get first place. Only 39 Ferrari 250 GTO were ever built by Ferrari. When this car was sold in 2014 at Bonham's The Quail Auction, it set and held the record of the most expensive car ever sold at auction for the next four years. Number one, 1962 Ferrari 250 GTO. You must be a little bit confused to see the name again popping up on your screen. 
but the history repeated itself, and Ferrari 250 GTO was sold again for even a greater amount of money at RM Southby's Monterey in 2018. It was owned by a well-known racer, Dr. Gregory Witten, before it sold in 2018, since it secured the first position on the list. Can you guess the amount of money that it was sold for? So, it was sold for a whopping price of $48,405,000. It surpassed its previous amount by a little over $10 million which is a huge thing. This car has an extraordinary story of being considered of little value when it first introduced to the world to being sold twice at a huge amount of money. The Ferrari 250 GTO so far remains the top one and two on the list of the most expensive cars ever sold at auction. Forget expensive wine, phones, art, etc. I am sure that these expensive cars would have surprised you more than anything as the price only got higher and higher as we move further into the list. So comment down below which one your favourite car is on the list and would you ever pay such a great amount of money at an auction to buy a car? Before going anywhere, make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to watch more amazing videos on your YouTube dashboard. Don't forget to click that like button and share the video with all your car lovers. And if you made it this far, I want to say thank you for watching and supporting this channel. Until the next video, stay tuned. I found you.